off to see next. Really interesting, Keith. Dr. Ian Campbell, one of the world's leading experts on obesity. Everyone seems to be settling down and reaping the benefits of their lifestyle change. Drugs are illegal for a reason, they're dangerous and certainly using them in the short term leads to bad choices in life but long term it can have very serious medical effects. I have patients within my practice who go through the same process, male to female, female to male, but it's a learning process for GPs. It's time for the results. Just remember, people need to come and see the yeah. doctor. Yes, particularly men who, who are doctor evasive. They doctor have... evasive, I like that. <laughs>Who's, who's obviously part of the team, you're our sort of obesity expert. Um, shy of 40 stone, we've just done weighing 253 yeah. kilograms. How do you turn it round? A gastric balloon is a short-term measure. Mm. Not done its job, but it needs to come out. The only thing that works at this sort of level of overweight is bariatric surgery, proper yeah. surgery, and, and in your particular situation, a gastric bypass. In the fourth week, everyone seems to be settling down and reaping the benefits of their lifestyle change. In particular, Kevin and Dave, their blood pressure ha has dropped significantly. That's quite spectacular. Is it really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Basically, you've, you've increased your own life expectancy in the space of a few weeks. You've added years to your life. Thanks. In this film, Dr. Ian Campbell, one of the world's leading experts on obesity, is traveling over 2,000 miles in order to meet seven-year-old Jambik Hatohov, the biggest boy in the world. Somehow we, we, we've got to convey the message to Nelia that what she's doing may be killing the boy. When I put all the evidence together, what it makes me think is that, is that Jambik is a boy who is likely to be obese in any case because of his constitution but who in all probability at some point has been given something to make him bigger and stronger and it made me think that possibly around about the age of two and a half to three he'd been given anabolic steroids to promote that growth he's desperate to speak to you and so he should because <laughs> i think he thinks well i think he knows he's got an answer well look We've got evidence of a traumatic event, both physical and emotional, your brain tumour. Yeah. We've got a cluster of symptoms, headaches, muscular aches, fleeting pains, profound tiredness, irritable bowel. And these positive trigger points, six or more, is diagnostic for fibromyalgia. I think it's as clear as day. There's no other explanation for it. It's fibromyalgia. The ultrasound shows that his liver is infiltrated with fat, and the blood tests, I'm sure, well reveal high levels of cholesterol. What we found with Sue is that her blood pressure was slightly up, her weight's normal, but her energy levels are not great and she does feel quite excessively tired in the evenings. It's time for the results. Ian, what we've seen in you is that your blood pressure has dropped from a high of 180 to 118. That's hugely significant. Having analysed their sperm samples, Dr Ian Campbell, the Petri Twins GP, arrives with the results. Blue Twin, you produced two and a half mils of fluid. Yeah. Within which was about 73 million active sperm. Good. It's very good. And that means there were roughly 30 million sperm per mil. Would a doctor, would a GP ever say to somebody who's, you know, struggling with their weight, mm. use those as part of a system, or would they never be recommended? As someone who's worked in, in weight management for, for many years, I don't find them very helpful at all. The sort of stuff you can buy over the counter in a pharmacy is probably safe, but not that effective. But buying it over the internet, you're taking a big risk. What would your message be to people watching this? The only way to lose weight safely and effectively is by moderating your dietary intake, increasing your physical activity, not using supplements, and dealing with the issues that lead you into those behavioural patterns in the first place. In other words, dealing with the psychological and emotional drivers of your weight gain. Fantastic, Ian. Listen, really, really appreciate you coming in. Take his advice and do it correctly.